Have you ever woken up on a Monday morning and no matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to find the motivation to get going? Maybe you've got big goals this week, but for some reason, you're just not feeling it. If that sounds familiar, you're not alone. We all go through times when we feel stuck or unmotivated, but the good news is there's a way to push through and still accomplish what you set out to do. So if you're feeling unmotivated to tackle your goals this week, here's what you can do to turn things around. Keep in mind, I believe in you. Remind yourself of your why. Motivation often fades when we lose sight of why we started in the first place. What is it that drove you to set these goals? Maybe it's the desire to provide a better life for your family. Maybe it's about improving your health. Or maybe you just want to grow and improve in your career. Whatever your why is, take a moment to reflect on it. When we focus on the deeper reasons behind our goals, it reignites that inner fire and gives us a fresh perspective. And Proverbs 16, 3 says, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. When we align our efforts with a purpose bigger than ourselves, it gives us the strength to keep moving forward even when we don't feel like it. Start small. One of the biggest reasons we lose motivation is because we're looking at the mountain instead of the next step. We get overwhelmed by how far we still have to go and I'm guilty of that and that can be paralyzing. But here's the thing, success is often built on small consistent actions. If your goals feel too big right now, break them down into bite-sized tasks. If you're struggling to get through your to-do list, start with just one thing. Once you get moving, momentum will start to build and you'll be surprised at how much you can accomplish. In Zechariah 4.10 it says, Do not despite these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. Even the smallest action today can lead to big results over time. Focus on your progress, not perfection. Sometimes we lose motivation because we're so focused on doing everything perfectly that we forget progress is the goal. Perfectionism can be a huge demotivator because it sets unrealistic expectations. Instead of aiming for perfect results this week, aim for progress. Did you do something today that moved you closer to your goals? Celebrate that. Remember, God isn't asking for perfection. He's asking for faithfulness. Philippians 1 6 reminds us that God who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion. Trust that you're on a journey and it's okay to have ups and downs along the way. Another key tip is to recharge your energy. Sometimes lack of motivation isn't about laziness or lack of discipline. It's about exhaustion. Are you getting enough rest? Are you taking care of your physical and mental well-being? You can't pour from an empty cup, so you've been running on fumes. This might be your body and mind's way of telling you it's time to rest and recharge. Take some time to sleep. Go for a walk like I do. Spend time in prayer or do something that refreshes your spirit. Even Jesus took time to withdraw and rest. In Matthew 11:28, he says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Rest is part of the process, and it's necessary for you to perform at your best. Ask for help. There's no shame in needing a little encouragement or accountability. That's why I'm here. If you're struggling to find motivation, reach out to someone you trust, whether it's a friend, a mentor, or a family member. Having someone in your corner can make all the difference. Sometimes a simple conversation or a prayer with someone else can give you the motivation boost you need to keep going. Feeling unmotivated this week, take heart. Start by revisiting your why. Break your goals down into small steps. Focus on progress over perfection. Recharge your energy and don't hesitate to ask for help. You don't have to feel motivated to make progress. You just have to keep showing up, trusting God's plan and doing the work even when you don't feel like it. 
Remember, it's not about sprinting to the finish line every day. It's about steady, faithful progress. And when you look back, you'll see how far you've come, even when it didn't feel like it at the time. So let's make this week count one step at a time. I believe in you and I know you can do it.